Our southern border is a mess. Every day down there looks like it's half price day at Six Flags. And we've seen more and more tragic stories of immigrants, let's say, interacting with Americans. One case even got to mention at last night's State of the Union. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? Great question. But don't worry, John Stewart has an explanation. We now return you to your regularly scheduled presidential election year programming. Yes, every two to four years, we are reminded that we have a southern border. <laughs> and it is porous. Ah, yes, it's all election year fear-mongering. How convenient that you just happen to get murdered in an election year. Trump's not going to fool me. So here comes Jon Stewart to debunk the GOP's migrant crime narrative. Stewart starts by playing a montage of where these folks are coming from. Iran, number one state sponsor of terror, their satellite country, Syria, uh, Egypt, home of the Muslim Brotherhood, Afghanistan from Russia. Record numbers of Chinese. Yes, we're taking immigrants from every country on the terrorism wall calendar. Don't worry, it's tasteful. The number of military-aged men that are showing up with military haircuts, clearly in shape. They said these guys are showing up with six packs and military boots. Why is he so worried about military-aged men? Don't we have a military too? Oh yeah. Stewart takes an opportunity here to make a joke, but doesn't ever get around to acknowledging how wild this is. His entire response is, Dr. Phil is gay for migrants, which is crazy. We all know that gay for migrants was a campaign slogan for Pete Buttigieg. He goes on. Well, it's clear hyperbole, but there does seem to be bipartisan agreement now that the border is a problem. Sure, but one side thinks that the problem is that it's too easy for people to get in, and the other side thinks it's too hard for people to get in. The Biden administration just admitted it secretly flew 320,000 asylum asylum seekers into the U.S. in 2023 alone. I assume with Mayor Pete guiding in the planes. Made sure the wheels didn't fall off those planes. All to reduce numbers at the border. So yeah, both sides see a problem, but doesn't it matter what they think the problem is? If one doctor tells you that you're too fat and another tells you you're too skinny, you don't say, well, we both agree I have a problem, let's work on it together. But what caused this mess? Well, in 2021, Biden signed executive orders to undo Trump's immigration policies. The same year, his DHS secretary said this. So we have rescinded so many uh, Trump immigration policies, it would take so much time to list them. Oh, is he pressed for time? Is he going to miss his weekly head polishing appointment? Anyway, Stewart sits through a montage of Republicans raising concerns about the border, wearing his best incredulous face, and then immediately admits that it's gotten so bad, both parties now have to talk about it. But the immigrants know who's really on their side. <laughs> Mass immigration causes all kinds of problems, the most visible one being crime. There's a migrant crime spree killing Americans and the president's an accessory to murder. But again, Stewart has an ironclad response to that. There are some undocumented migrants who are committing crimes, some of them horrific. But isn't that true for every demographic, including natives? I, I feel pretty confident there's still a lot of opportunity out there for our American homegrown criminals. I guess you want us to live in some utopia where you can walk down the street without getting mugged by a foreigner. So we should absorb other countries' crime problems because it's the principled thing to do. Never mind that these crimes wouldn't be happening if we didn't let them in. Also, never mind that it was a crime for them to come here in the first place. He says that Trump is oversimplifying by pointing to the blood of countless innocent victims. Yeah, mentioning dead bodies is so simplistic. Not like John's solution. What about the yearnings and the, ti <laughs> and the tiredness? What and the tiredness of those who are doing the yearning. Yes, the poem on the Statue of Liberty is the be-all, end-all of immigration law. We learned everything we need to know on the topic back when God carved the one commandment at the feet of that green lady. He then criticizes New York Mayor Eric Adams for flip-flopping after immigrants overwhelmed his city. 110,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the children, wash their laundry sheets. This issue? will destroy New York City. Democrats, whose high-minded values and principles did not survive a contact high with reality, it turns out in the age-old battle between values and fear, values never had a f 
fucking chance. No, no, John, don't say the F word. I might just laugh until I puke. But here's the thing. If your values always lead to rampant violence, economic disaster, national destabilization, maybe your values stink. And if these people weren't committing crimes and bankrupting cities, they wouldn't be doing their job. That's why they're here. That's why they've been let in. But the left wants the migrants to overwhelm your cities, not theirs. And the extremist position is that they shouldn't be overwhelming anywhere. When red states respond, that's hate. When blue states respond, that's just logical. They'll accuse us of fear-mongering for reporting the news and then go glue themselves to the freeway because they're afraid of the weather. But Stewart thinks that if Republicans really cared about the border, they had a chance to fix it. But Republicans turned down the chance to pass a strong border bill supported by the Border Patrol Union because of how confident they are that fear-mongering will be an effective election year strategy. Yes, this border bill. 60 billion in funding for Ukraine, 14 billion in funds for Israel. And not a penny for building the wall. Instead, he says Republicans are just trying to exploit the problem for votes. Well, call me what you will, but I'd prefer that politicians point out real problems and then go about fixing them. There's no bipartisan consensus on immigration, so there can't be a bipartisan solution. Republicans aren't even on the same page as each other about this. Say what you will about the left. At least they know what they want and are willing to use power to get it even if they are.